This is Dr. Jazz Shahal. Let's take a few minutes to talk about knee osteoarthritis and whether you're a candidate for a total knee replacement. Osteoarthritis is one of the most common conditions affecting the knee joint. If this is a condition you have, you are likely experiencing knee pain, on and off swelling, stiffness related to prolonged periods of inactivity, and possibly a decrease in knee range of motion. There are plenty of treatment options that range from simple over-the-counter medications to reconstructive surgery. For most patients, initial treatment often consists of Tylenol or an anti-inflammatory medication, some sort of injection such as cortisone, hyaluronic acid, or platelet-rich plasma, physiotherapy in the form of strengthening quadriceps musculature, core musculature, and modalities to decrease swelling, and some sort of surgery. While there is no evidence for arthroscopy in the setting of knee arthritis, total knee replacement is the most common procedure performed for this indication. Here we present a view of two knee models. On the left hand side is a normal knee with the blue representing articular cartilage and with the cartilage being normal on this side. On the right hand side is a model with advanced knee arthritis. You'll see wearing away of the articular cartilage, exposure of the subchondral bone, and bony overgrowth in the form of osteophytes on the tibial and the femoral side. In this x-ray of the right knee, an AP and a lateral radiograph have been taken. This patient has end-stage arthritis of the knee, and this is characterized by decreased joint space or almost bone-on-bone -bone articulation between the femur and the tibia, as well as the presence of an osteophyte or bony overgrowth along the medial femoral condyle. A total knee replacement is one of the most commonly performed elective surgical procedures in the orthopedic community. In this procedure, disease cartilage and bone are replaced with prosthetic components, ultimately creating a metal on polyethylene articulation. In this three-dimensional model of the knee, you will notice that the disease cartilage in the femur has been replaced by a metallic component. The tibial component is also metallic, and in between is a white polyethylene spacer. This results in the creation of a bearing surface that is metal on polyethylene. The third component of the knee joint replaces the patella, and in this model you can see that the back of the kneecap is replaced by a polyethylene button, creating another metal on polyethylene articulation that occurs with range of motion of the knee. After a knee replacement, patients are commonly discharged home within three days after the procedure. Because of this early discharge, it's imperative that patients have an effective post-operative strategy to optimize the recovery process. For an effective personalized post-operative strategy, please work with your surgical team. Some things to consider include taking the appropriate medication so you're comfortable, using anticoagulants to prevent blood clots, preparing your home so when you return home, the appropriate devices and aids are in place, and finally, having a partnership with an experienced physiotherapist. Physiotherapy is an essential part of the recovery process. To optimize mobility and function, early on, one should focus on range of motion and strength of the quadriceps. Home physiotherapy is as effective as clinic-based physiotherapy following knee replacement, and there's plenty of scientific evidence to support this. Furthermore, home physiotherapy is more cost-effective for you and the healthcare system compared to inpatient rehabilitation. At Therapia, we connect you to your personalized physiotherapist. Please visit therapia.life for more information.